Hello, good to be back again. Today I'm going to talk about meniscus injury. What is the meniscus? As I mentioned earlier in the previous video, the meniscus are the shock absorber of the knee joint. There are two meniscus. On the inner part, it is called medial meniscus and then the outer part of the knee, it is called lateral meniscus. So meniscus can be injured during sports activity or during trauma or accident. What are the symptoms of meniscus injury? Most common symptom is pain. Pain during walking or twisting motion or twisting activity. It also associated with mild or moderate swelling over the knee. And the worst part or the severe part of the injured meniscus, it is called locking knee. Okay, what is locking knee? Locking knee means a person unable to fully straighten the knee joint. Most of the patient will come to the doctor, they explain, Doctor, I cannot extend or straighten my knee. So, this is the common complaint that the patient will have during the encounter with doctors. So, this is locking knee. Okay, next, what does locking knee mean to a doctor? Most of the doctors or orthopedic surgeon, if they find or encounter a patient with locking knee, they will suspect a bucket handle meniscus tear. What is bucket handle meniscus tear? You can see the photo above, bucket handle. Bucket handle can be displaced or non-displaced. The displaced bucket handle will cause locking knee where the meniscus, some of the portion of the meniscus will flip inside the knee joint. When it's flip inside the knee joint, it will cause locking. For example, this is the meniscus. If it is flip inside the knee joint and patient unable to extend the knee. This is what we call bucket handle meniscus injury. Okay, next, what are the treatment of meniscus injury? Most of the patient will complain to the doctor. and The doctor will do examination and MRI. Based on MRI, the doctor will suggest for surgery. We have to repair meniscus. Why? If you don't repair the meniscus, a patient will lose the shock observer of the knee. If they lost the shock observer, the knee will subjected to a increased stress of the knee joint. This will lead to degenerative process and lead to osteoarthritis or in the other term, secondary osteoarthritis. So nowadays, because the advancement of the technology in treating the meniscus, most of the procedure is done via arthroscopic. You can see the video. This is how we repair the meniscus. This is called all inside technique. You don't need to know, but the surgeon will propose. Most of the surgeon will propose all inside meniscus repair. But the surgeon will discuss further to you on the treatment of the meniscus. In summary, most of this meniscus surgery or meniscus repair surgery will be done via arthroscopic method or keyhole surgery. Next, after the repair, what I should do, doctor? Most of the patient who undergone meniscus repair will be subjected to a certain period of non-weight bearing or the other term, they will undergo non-weight bearing walking or non-weight bearing ambulation with the aid of crutches. How long it take? It will take normally about six weeks. After the procedure, the doctor will review you for the wound assessment. Once the wound healing, you will be undergone physiotherapy or rehabilitation for six months duration sometimes it may lead to nine months of physiotherapy the physiotherapy will focus on knee rehabilitation to get the full range of motion followed by muscle strengthening and then coordination some patient will ask doctor when i able to perform squat a patient underwent meniscus injury they cannot squat for at least six months this is to avoid interference of the repair site so some patient will ask when can i return to sports doctor normally a patient with meniscus injury they are able to return to sports as early as nine months and then average patient they will return to sport at one year provided they must undergo for optimal physiotherapy okay that's it for today don't forget to like follow share and don't forget to comment if you have any questions just ask and i will try to answer the questions in the next video see you in the next video